Good afternoon. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. Our time for reflection leader today is the Right Reverend Gordon Mursell, author and former Bishop of Stafford. When I retired, I started climbing the Munros, and when I got to Brech Corra Chruin Valagan, which means the upland of the Corrie of the Round Blisters, I realised I was going to have to learn Gaelic if I was to stand any chance of being rescued if something terrible ever happened to me. So I'm into the second year of the Ulpen Gaelic course at Castle Douglas. Now both the Munros and the Gaelic language, you don't need me to tell you this, but are far more than just a part of Scottish heritage or culture. They are a part of our country's spiritual DNA. Both of them offer us an alternative vision of reality, a different way of seeing things. The mountains do that by lifting you out of self into a wider picture. No one could climb them without becoming aware not just of the beauty of the landscape, but of your own littleness, which is why language such as bagging or conquering the Munros is, is so inappropriate. We climb them as pilgrims, encountering something other than ourselves, something that, when paid attention to, has its own story to tell, of climate change and clearances, of safety for minorities fleeing persecution, of refuge for birds and migrant animals. They don't belong to landowners or hill walkers or even human beings. They're free. When the great Scottish climber W.H. Murray was liberated after years of imprisonment by the Nazis, he said, I had not once thought of myself as imprisoned. In my mind, I was on the mountains of Scotland and had their freedom. In the Judeo-Christian tradition to which I belong, mountains are not just signs of freedom. They keep us company. They inspire us to welcome the stranger because on them... All of us are strangers in need of sustenance and shelter. They're not an escape from the world of politics and poverty. They inspire us to go back to it and change it for the better. Jesus went up the mountain to give his teaching. That's why it's called the Sermon on the Mount. Because you can see further from up there. And the radical reversal of this world's values that he taught inspires us still. Because in the same spirit as the Gaelic language and the Munros, it offers us an alternative vision of how things could be. Is Bianachta, I'm no good at pronouncing this, Is Bianachta Jadson a Haboch nan spirit, or a Is Leo Riachach Neve, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> 